All right, well, after all that, I've taken everything off the bike down to the bare frame, except for the triple tree, which I, I don't have the tools to remove or really want to deal with it. But I removed everything from the frame so I can give it a good layer of paint. So I was thinking about painting it black, but now I'm thinking I'm gonna try maybe an orange. I think that would be kind of cool if just the frame is orange and everything else I'm gonna paint black. I also have the swing arm back here, and I think that I'm gonna paint black. So I'll have a black swing arm and an orange frame. And if it kinda, if I don't like the way it comes out, I can just paint over it, uh, paint it black. So now I just gotta clean this thing up and also maybe give it a good layer of sanding and then it will be ready to spray paint. All right, so I've got the tail section painted orange. I think I like the way it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rest of the bike and here I have the triple tree taped off. So like I said, I didn't wanna remove it. I thought that would be a pain. So this is actually gonna be a lot easier. Just tape it off and I'll be able to just paint around it. And there we have the first layer done. I am going to go over it with another layer and then when it's nice and dry, I'm going to take it down so that I can uh, spray paint the part where this strap is sitting. So I finished spray painting it orange and then I realized that I think it would be cool if only the main part of the frame is orange, but the rest of it is black. So that's what I'm doing here. Also, I kind of strategically decided to also paint some of the mounts on the frame black because you know that would be the mount for the motor mount so the motor mount's going to be black so it wouldn't be as cool if this is like orange and then the motor mount is black so i'm going to paint that black as well so it'll be like one piece also these pieces that piece over there i already spray painted black and then over here basically everything that's orange now is going to be black and I think that would really kind of give it a nice cool contrast between the two. So only this center section will be orange and you know, I don't want to overdo the orange thing. I want it really just to be an accent. All right, well, here I am done painting this frame. Came out okay. Uh, you know, when I taped up the orange part so I could do, so I could redo the tail section black, the tape actually left some, you know, pretty, unflattering like markings on it. I don't know if it was just not fully dry or whatnot, but you know, it's not the best paint job. I'm not super happy with it, but it does look okay from a distance. And I do not wanna give it another coat of orange cause then I'll have to tape everything else up. I'm just kinda done with painting. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Yeah, what I think I'll do is actually go over the parts that are that don't look so great. I'll just go over them with like some high grit sandpaper, try to smooth them out. Um, and I'll put this thing back together. And uh, a lot of these sections are gonna be covered up anyway. So I don't wanna, cause if I go over this one more time with spray paint, the parts that are uneven are just gonna show through the spray paint anyway, only, you know, just less, less uh, pronounced. So I think really the answer here is just to polish it with sandpaper. So I'm gonna put it back together the parts that are actually exposed and visible, I'll just go over them and uh, I guess um, address them with detail. But overall, I kind of like the way it looks. It kind of has that diamond shape for the neck and the body, and then everything else is black. So that part of it, at least from a distance, I think I really like the outcome and I'm excited to see how it looks. Here's the swing arm as well. I also painted it black, except I left this part, you know, the silver metal color that was there before. Uh, I was too lazy to, you know, take this off. Uh, but also, yeah, I got bearings and stuff over here and it's kind of deep in the bike. I thought it would look kind of cool if only this part is silver and not black. Here's all the other stuff painted and ready to go back on the bike. 
Um, as I mentioned before, I kind of tried to paint it strategically based on where those pieces will be on the bike, just to kind of create a particular sort of flow for the color. And this is the um, controller holder that's going on the bottom. It's gonna look like part of the frame. And then of course this goes on the frame that will hold the battery. This will be for the motor. And then everything else is basically black. The um, brackets for the battery pack are black. And then I've painted the red um, power conversion box black as well. So it blends in, I, you know, I don't want to really feature it on the bike visually. I just kind of want it to look like it's not even there. And then of course the battery pack, I painted that as well because it was really dirty. And I, you know, I also wanted to blend really well with the other colors. So even though it was black before, I want it to be this particular flat black that matches. So that's all the stuff there. And then of course I have the frame over here. Of course this bike has a flat and hopefully I'll have this thing all back together soon. And really just excited about the way it's gonna look. And then finally, after all this, I can finally connect all the wiring and actually ride this thing. And you know, this was, this started out as a sort of quick and simple build. And I guess even the quick and simple build isn't so quick or so simple. So, all right, well, I've got everything back together. I've got the fork tubes back on. I've got the swing arm back on and the wheels. And I definitely like the way it came out. I think painting the tail section black and leaving just the main frame section orange was definitely the right move. It definitely has like a nice contrast between the two. And I also removed some stickers from the front fork, so that looks a lot cleaner. And uh, I think it's just looking great. I also have a larger sprocket on the back. This is a 70 tooth sprocket, I believe, because the one I had previously was a little small. I think this one will definitely give me a lot more acceleration, although I'm hoping that I'll still have a top speed of at least 60 miles an hour because I do want to use this bike on the highway. But all of those things aside, I think it's looking really great. And now it's just time to put all the hardware back on, you know, put the controller back in, put the motor back in, uh, put the battery in and start doing all of the actual wiring because this thing is almost ready to ride. And I am, I cannot be more excited and uh, impatient to actually get this thing on the road. All right, so now I have the motor and controller in place and I'm really liking the way this is turning out. I think the orange looks really cool, you know, with the black tail section and then contrasting with the motor and the controller. I also have my phase wires cut to length and those are also an orange uh, braided co cable cover that's kind of running around the back. And then the controller is right there in place and I have the terminals connected already. Then I have these rubber terminal covers to make sure that everything is electrically isolated. There's, there's a good amount of room there between the motor and the terminals, but of course this is more secure. And then there is the controller um, being supported by the mount. And also I have the positive and negative ter terminals connected to the controller as well. So this will go to the contactor and then the negative terminal will go to the shunt. And this is an extra piece that will connect to a ground junction. All right, and here's the bike with everything else on. I've got the battery on there. I've got the power conversion box and it definitely looks cool like I imagined it. Um, the bottom mount here that I ha painted half orange and half black works really well from a distance where the battery just kind of looks like it's floating there. And then I've got the motor and controller um, overall. I'm definitely happy with the way it turned out and the paint issue, even though I've got, you know, these imperfections in the paint job on the main part of the frame, you really can't tell from even a little bit of a distance. So overall, looks great. So now I just have to get all the wiring done, uh, all the 12 volt wiring, and this thing is just about ready to go.